Hi, this is Jamie from Master Dots. This is an Elementor add-on plugin. It has a lot of free elements and extensions which are enough to create an awesome website. As it's a freemium plugin, you can download it from the WordPress plugin repo. If you want to get the pro version, then check the pricing page from our official website. Link is given below for both free and pro versions. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Master Add-on's tabs element. So let's drag MA tabs inside our editor and you will see the default look within a few seconds. And I have enabled icon for all of this. If you don't need icon, then you can easily disable it. And when you need icon, you can simply enable it. I'm going to show you some star preset available. There is horizontal tab. It's by default. Then vertical tabs. You will see the title are arranged vertically and then left active border it's similar like vertical tab but you can see a little blue line here that's the difference only then tabular content it's a little complicated for basic user but i am going to explain in details about tabular content in the next video you will get the tabular content video in my video description link make sure to check that out so let's discuss about horizontal tab, vertical tab and left active border. I have already showed you how to left active border and horizontal tabs work, but I am going to select horizontal tabs and I'm going to customize within this default tab. Now let's navigate to content. In the tab title one, you can select icon or none. If you don't need an icon for a specific tab, then you can select none. And you will see the icon is gone. If you need an image instead of icon, or if you have a PNG image or JPG image, and you want to add that image instead of icon, then simply use this image and click on source image, then select your icon image. I haven't added any icon here. I'm just going to add that image inside my tabs, just as an example. Okay, that's it. And you can easily add images for all of this. So I'm going to remove that and going to stick on icon. Let me change the icon and content for all of this tab and I'm going to make this video faster. Okay, that's it. I have added the content and changed the icon for all of my tabs. You can easily add new item as a tabs. Just click on this add new item and change the content. Here you can change your icon. Then change your title and change their content. If you need nested tabs, that means if you want to insert a section or template like accordion, I have showed how to add nested accordion. Make sure to check that link too from the video description. And I am going to show you how you can easily add nested tab inside a tab. Just click on this content and select shift section. And then choose section and select call to action. Then if I hover on this one, you will see the call to action, this template. I'm going to just delete this one and keep three tab and now tab effect. I want to trigger on click. If you want to active tabs on hover, then make sure to click hover. Hover is the default one. If you want the tab will work on click, then make sure to select click. Then click and it will work. Now let's navigate to our style area. In this style area, you will see tabs and content option. From the tabs, you can change the typography. Typography means there you will see the font family, then size, weight, transform, style, decoration, line, height, and letter spacing. You can define your desired font and size from this typography option. Then there you will see normal and active. The normal one is text color. Let's change the normal color to blue and active color should be 
there you can see the active color is black let's change it to red okay now you can see the changes and the background color okay let's change the background color and for normal let's change the background color to this one okay now you can see how it's working now let's navigate to the border you can define a solid border of 2 pixel or as you need maybe i think 1 pixel is perfect here then the color let's make it red and then border radius you can define a border radius and unlink the value for example top 50 and the bottom 50 this is a unique tabs click and you can see the changes you can make the border with zero Sorry. you can make the border with o and the border is gone now you can see the background color active color and tab content now let's navigate to the content area the same system applies here too you can change the color typography content background color for example let's change the background color to this one and since the content content color is perfect and since the typography okay not okay change the content typography let's make it 18 pixel okay 20 pixel now the content is now the text is bigger than default and here you can see the padding you can change the padding by default it's 40 pixel you can increase it or decrease it on your needs and that's all about tabs element by master addons i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to comment here if you have any problem and don't forget to check out the tabular content video and nested accordion video from the video description make sure to download install and active master addons from our official website or our wordpress plugin repo page Otherwise, you can't work with our extensions and elements.